Hey, Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com. We're really excited. We got the new 2017 Pyro Dekine Waste Harness. Now, the, the Pyro has been one of the top selling harnesses we have ever sold for many, many years. And you think that they can't make any more change to these things, and they continuously do. This is by far one of the top waste harnesses. And what I like about it is it has a lot of diversity to it, as well as it, it takes the, uh, the popularity of the stiff um, shaping type harnesses and does it kind of more in a hybrid. It gives you the soft, but it gives you the stiffness where you need it on the back. And I'm gonna show you that. I wanna um, have all three here. These are the colors that they come in. It's got the yellow with olive around, which I think is gonna end up being a popular one in here because of a different color in the bright. It's got the red and black, and then they've just got the regular all black with white printing on there. So let me show you some of the, some of the small things that I like about the harness. Now, this is what they call their adaptive fit technology. It's the Texon. What this material does, what they claim to do, and what we have found out in messing with some of it, we had one of the prototypes, and uh, what actually happens is this material, it's made out of the same materials as C1 that they have, and what it does, it starts to form. The more that you wear it, the more that you use it, this will gradually take the shape of your back or your sides or whatever it gets pulled to, it starts to do it. That's what they're claiming it does. Now, the one that we've been testing, it definitely does. Some of the guys in here will say it kind of fits weird on them, a little bit different, but better on me because we've been using it a lot. But it's really nice. And one thing I like about it as well is the soft edging around the sides here. So it's not just this really hard, hard edge right up against you. It still is nice and malleable around the side edges, but yet, You've got this hard plate in the back which transfers that load around and just goes right into your back. Now on the inside, they've done the molding in here as you can see. They have some of the foam molding which they've always had in all the pyros. It's been one of the most popular things that this harness is known for. And these kind of lock down on you. A lot of diversity and change of shaping in here and that locks into your back as well as it's got the memory foam in here. So a really fantastic type fitting and harness. You can see that shaping in there, so it's already got the shaping and it stays there when you flex it. So this is a small, I've put on a medium and a small, and uh, they, they both will work for me. The medium will give me a little bit more surface area. Um, the small fits a little bit smaller. Uh, both of them are great. So I just wanna show you some of these. So. What it is, is what I like about it is they're also, Dekine has one of the best little power belts here, and these are both very elastic, and a lot of people don't pull these hard enough. So you wanna give it a good pull, and over time, these will stretch out, as well as you got the overlap. So by the time you get this thing on, it's already starting to lock into you. Now, one thing I like about Dekine, their new thing they also have on the Fusion and a lot of their harnesses this year, is this quick clip buckle. And what you want to do is you want to make sure your ladder lock buckles are underneath here. You want to make sure that these are put underneath. You don't want them up above to pull on this protective shield here. And the reason they have this here is to keep lines from hooking on buckles or, or things like that so you can hide all your straps underneath there. So once I have it partially adjusted, <clears throat> on, then what I want to do is clip in. But what I want to do is on the left side here you can see what I've got is my buckles underneath this protective layer, and you see how clean that is. Once I get these good and tight and adjusted to me, I'm never gonna touch these straps again. So I get these all fed back through, put them underneath the elastics, and you never really touch your left side. Everything is on the right side of the harness. So I leave these straps out here, and you can see the buckles underneath. If I wanna loosen these up a little bit, I pull them out, get them loose, and then shove them, make sure you put them back underneath. You don't want them to pull across this, this edging here of this material. Once I get it there, I clip in, and then I work the straps in and out, and to get that all locked tight. Now, if I want to get out of this harness, a lot of people are asking, you can't get to those buckles on the side. Um, I'll show you here. This is the pull-down strap, the hold-down strap. And once I get that put in there, you can see the buckles are underneath. To get undone, what I like to do is I grab these straps that are here, push the clip, and just simply unbuckle. It's very simple, it's not anything, it's hard, and you get it locked in there, ratchet these down, and then of course hide all your straps back underneath, and then everything will get cleaned up in here. 
but it's it's a great system they've done their spreader bar now is all really nice it's got memory foam around it as well they all all of these come with a hook knife uh, cut knife right here which is very easy to pull out and use and it very and this is all under low so you can see how everything moves and comes out of here quickly um, and it's very simple to use also it has a short leash connection you will see this on it rings on both sides it's all up underneath here once you pull it out there it is a stainless steel ring you can put a, a short leash which is becoming very popular as well as you also have uh, the back slide uh, leash hook up on the back side and this if you don't want it can be removed if people don't use this anymore you don't have to leave this on there and that can be removed but you can see how this one fits it's really nice very very comfortable um, definitely going to be one of the top harnesses we sell and always has been every single year uh, the kind stands behind their gear and we really like to sell that anyway that's Jeff Howard here with a new 2017 pyro waste harness from the kind